So getting started with the basics of JavaScript for Google Earth Engine. So today we're going to focus on applying threshold and masking and remapping satellite image using Google Earth Engine. So first we're going to focus on thresholding images. So thresholding categorizes the pixel based on the logical operation. So for example, uh, it creates an NDVI that is normalized to difference vegetation index image and applies a threshold to classify the pixels as a vegetation and uh, non-vegetation areas. So to do that, first we have to define the region of interest. So we can define the region of interest using this uh, point or add a marker. So you can click this option and place your marker over the region of interest. So it's going to give us uh, latitude and longitude. For example, I'm going to click this and I'm going to uh, click this area here. So in the top section, we have a uh, show generated codes. So we have our latitude and longitude of the study region. So you can copy this latitude and longitude and uh, paste it here in this variable called C point. So this variable is going to hold the latitude and longitude and uh, it's going to convert this uh, latitude and longitude into a point. So to do that, to do that we're going to define this variable C point equals to earth engine dot geometry dot point with latitude and longitude of the study region. And uh, next uh, we have to load up a Sentinel 2A imagery in order to perform uh, NDVI uh, analysis that is normalized difference vegetation index to classify to apply threshold to classify vegetation versus non-vegetation areas. So to do that we're going to define a variable C image equals to earth engine dot image collection Copernicus S2 and next we have to filter based on the point data. So to do that we define dot filter bound C point. C point refers to this variable containing the latitude and longitude of the study region. And uh, we're going to filter with the specific timeline. For example, this particular uh, 2020, August 15, 2020, October 1. So uh, in order to uh, get a first image uh, for the specific timeline, so we can apply this first function, dot first function. So it's, uh, it's going to give us a first image, which is available in this uh, timeline. And next, we have to compute our NDVI uh, using our NIR band and red band. So NDVI, uh, we have uh, that is normalized difference vegetation index that is B8 minus B4 divided by B8 plus B4. So to compute that, we're going to define a variable C NDVI equals to C image dot normalized difference B8 and B4. So B8 and B4, which represents NIR band and B4, which represents the red band. So to compute uh, normalized difference vegetation index, we need these two bands B8 and B4. So next we have to apply the threshold uh, to classify the vegetation. So we're going to apply a threshold that is NDVI which is greater than 0.5. So to classify the vegetation areas, we're going to apply this specific threshold that is NDVI image uh, the greater than a value of 0.5. So it's going to classify, it's going to give us the vegetation areas. So to apply that, we're going to define another variable vegetation equals to C NDVI referring to this variable after computing our NDVI uh, formula. So we're going to access that variable and in that we're going to specify dot greater than 0.5. So it's going to give us an image that is uh, whose value that is greater than 0.5. So we are applying a threshold to classify the vegetation. So the value is threshold value is 0.5. And next uh, to center this, uh, so next we have to visualize the NDVI image and the thresholded vegetation. So for that, we're going to define map dot center object C point. So C point referring to the latitude and the, the point uh, we given here. This is the point and we are applying the zoom level suitable zoom level. And next to add this layer, we're going to define map dot add layer C NDVI and we are setting a minimum of minus one and to a maximum of plus one. And these are the following color palettes we can apply. So for example, red, white and green. So red, it uh, red which indicates the non-vegetated areas and green which indicates the vegetation areas. And we're going to output the layer name as NDVI, uh, NDVI Seattle. So next we have to add another layer after applying the threshold. Uh, so we have to apply, we have applied this threshold for our NDVI image. So we're going to add this layer. So to do that, we're going to apply map.add layer vegetation minimum of zero and a maximum of one color palettes. So black and green. So green which indicates the vegetation areas and black which indicates the non-vegetation areas. And we can output as vegetation mask. So the first, uh, it's gonna give us the NDVI image and the second uh, layer, it's gonna give us the 
the NDVI image after applying this mask of NDVI of value greater than 0.5. So let us visualize the result here. Now I'm going to navigate the layer section, NDVI Seattle. So you can able to visualize here. So this is the NDVI Seattle. So all the green areas which indicates the vegetation and uh, this particular color which indicates the water body and the white areas which indicates the urban areas. And uh, after applying the vegetation mask of the threshold that is greater than 0 0.5. So this is our uh, vegetation areas. So the only two colors, so green which indicates the vegetation areas and the black which indicates the non-vegetation areas. So next uh, we're going to apply the masking uh, specific values. So in this step uh, masking, uh, let me explain, the masking hides the unwanted values by setting them to zero. So this example, uh, we're going to create a binary mask uh, to exclude the non-vegetated areas. So to create a binary mask, uh, so we're going to perform uh, our analysis by excluding the non-vegetated areas by applying the mask. So to create a binary mask for the vegetation, first we have to apply the variable, uh, we have to create a variable called vegetation mask equals to c in dvi dot greater than 0 0.5. So the c in dvi which, uh, which uh, referring to this particular variable that is our NDVI image. So we are referring that and in that we are defining dot greater than 0 0.5. So this creates a binary mask where the pixel with the uh, NDVI greater than 0 0.5 will set to a uh, value of 1 that is keep the vegetations and uh, if the pixel uh, with the NDVI lesser than or equals to 5 will be set to a value of 0, mask outs the non-vegetation areas. And this particular mask uh, highlights the areas with the dense vegetation. So to apply the mask to the image, uh, we have to define, so to apply this mask uh, to the image, so we have to define another variable, mask to vegetation equals to the C in DVI dot update mask referring to this variable. So referring to this variable, and uh, now we can uh, visualize only the image with the vegetation areas only. So it's going to mask out all non-vegetated areas. So this removes the non-vegetated areas by applying the ma binary mask and the pixel with the mask value of 1 that is that is NDVI that is greater than 0 0.5 remains unchanged and the pixel with the uh, mask value of 0 the NDVI lesser than or equal to 0 0.5 becomes transparent becomes transparent or removed. So now the image uh, shows only the areas with the high vegetation density. So let us visualize that. So I'm going to mention to add the mask to vegetation layer to the map. I'm going to define map.add layer mask to vegetation referring to this particular variable where we applied the mask. We updated the masking here to show only the vegetation areas. And we're setting a minimum of minus one and to a maximum of plus one. And these are the following color palettes all the vegetation areas will be highlighted uh, will be given in the green color and the layer name will be masked vegetation so now it's going to display only the the dense that is the vegetation only so to visualize that i'm going to navigate the layer so i'm going to turn this on let me turn off other layers here so you can able to see the difference here previously we had this ndvi now we have managed to mask out all the non vegetation areas so you can clearly able to visualize that. So you can able to see the difference here. So it shows only the dense vegetation areas in the study region. And the third step is remapping the image values. Remapping allows the changing the pixel values in an image. Uh, so this example assigns a new value to the different land cover classes. So this remaps the NDVI va values into a different land cover classes. So assigning a new pixel value based on the NDVI threshold. So the process helps uh, classify the different land features such as water body, non forested uh, areas and forest areas. So in the previous function, we, are, we should have noted that all the NDVI, in the NDVI image with the vegetation areas were given a value of 1 if the value were greater than 0 0.5. And if the value is less than or equals to 0 0.5, if the pixel will uh, give the value of 0. So now to remap those image values. So this remaps the NDVI values into a uh, different land cover classes and uh, we're going to assign a new values uh, based on the NDVI threshold. So to create an initial image with all values set to 1. So we're going to initiate and uh, create an initial image with all values uh, we're going to set as 1. 
So to do that, we're going to define a variable c var equals to earth engine dot uh, image one dot clip c in dvi dot geometry. So it's going to create a new image where every pixel uh, is initially set to a value of one. And uh, so this particular variable uh, which uh, relates to our NDVI image, you can able to see here. So this is our NDVI, C NDVI. So once we perform the formula, it's going to give us an NDVI image in this variable. So we're going to access this particular variable C NDVI. And we're going to give all the pixel values to one as the initial image. And in our next step, uh, we're going to remap the NDVI values uh, to classify the land cover, for example. So we're going to specify C var equals to C var dot var C NDVI dot less than uh, equals to minus 0 0.1. So if the in the NDVI image, if the value of the pair, if the value of NDVI is less than minus 0 0.1, it's we're going to specify the value as zero. So which indicates the water. And similarly, we're going to refer this variable C where C where equals to C where dot where C NDVI dot greater than 0 0.5. So it's going to with the NDVI image if the value greater than 0 0.5. So we're going to specify the value as a pixel value as two. So it's going to indicate the forest areas. So it basically updates the pixel value where the condition is met. If the if it, the condition uh, mets and uh, to visualize it, so to visualize the displayed uh, remapped images, for, uh, to add that, we're going to define map dot add layer C where, and we're going to set a minimum of zero and a maximum of two. And these are the following color palettes we're going to mention, starting with blue, white, and green. So blue, which indicates the water, and the green, which indicates the forest, and white, which indicates the non forest areas, or uh, it can be the urban areas too. So Blue means water, white we have defined as a non-forest and green as a forest. So the water areas uh, low in DVI values are assigned to a value of 0 and uh, forest areas with the high in DVI value are assigned to the value of 2 and the non-forest areas that is the remaining pixel values that retains the default value of 1 which, uh, which, which is a non-forest areas. So in this way we can uh, remap the image value. So we started so we started with the, all the all the image value or the pixel value was set to one, and after that we are applying the threshold based uh, based on the threshold. If the value is lesser than one, so minus zero point one, so it's we're gonna give it as a value of zero for water, and the value DVI value if it's greater than or equals to zero point five, we're gonna give a pixel value of two, that is forest, and remaining the previous but default value of one, which gonna represents the non forest areas. So in this way, we can uh, remap the image values. And our last step is advanced remapping. So other example uh, changes, a, uh, changes a specific value within an image using a remap function. So the below given code uh, remaps an image value to a new categories using the remap function. So it's going to categorize the, it's going to this uh, below given code, going to remap the image values to new category using this function remap function. So the process helps to reassign the uh, specific pixel value to a new class for easier interpretation of further processing. So to do that, so we're going to remap the value of uh, C where to a new categories. So previously, the zero value of represents the water and one which represents the non water non forest areas and two which represents the forest areas. So we're going to define to remap those values uh, of C where to a new category. So we're going to define a variable C remap equals to C where dot remap function. So we are applying this particular remap function. So the, it's, uh, the original pixel values were zero representing water, one representing non forest areas and two representing the forest areas. Now using this remap function, I'm going to specify the zero as the representative as the water, I'm going to turn this value to a 9. And similarly, the non-forest area just previously or original values were 1. So using remap function, I'm going to remap this value to 11. And similarly, the forest areas are given a value of 2. And I'm going to uh, remap this. I'm going to uh, remap this using the remap function to change to the value of 10. 
And now to visualize the result, uh, we're going to mention uh, map dot add layer C map. We're going to set a minimum of nine and the maximum of 11. And the color palettes, we're going to specify as blue, green, and white. So a nine, which represents water, 10, which represents the, the forest uh, areas, and the 11, which going to represent the non-forest areas. The pa color palettes, blue, water, green, which represents forest, and white, it's going to give us the non-forest area. We can output the layer in MS, remap values. So we can able to see here. So we are remapping the water value, nine as a blue, and forest 10 as a green and non-forest as 11 uh, change to value of white. That is uh, non-forest is 11. So we are giving the non-forest as 11 and the color which indicates is white. So the key concept uh, covered in this uh, video is uh, thresholding. So classify the pixel based on the condition. So if uh, in the NDVI image, you could like to classify the only the forest area, we can, we can apply threshold. So for example, NDVI greater than 0.5 and masking so it's going to hide the unwanted data by setting the value to zero and the last is our remap function so assigns a new value to the existing pixel value for better analysis and visualization so these operation helps simplify and categorize the remote sensing data for the further analysis so in this video we have focused on applying threshold masking and remapping the satellite image using google earth engine so in our tutorial, getting started with basics of JavaScript for Google Earth Engine. So thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like. And the code is available in the description section. Thanks for watching.